we are going to finish painting this pot and then I'm putting out a challenge but you got to go through it to see who gets the challenge and what it is hi everybody this is Glenda with Fraylins and Friends Crafts Plus <laughs> we're gonna finish off this pot today I did not work on it. I did not do it while I was while I was goofing off trying to get sleep. Or out playing with my grandkids. Or anything else. I just didn't get to it. So you get to see me finish it today. I put something different on here. It's going to be a game for the grandkids when they're around again. It could be a game for the 21-year-old grandkids, too. One just turned, one's just turning 22 in May. It's going to be find the odd flower. So you'll see me paint the odd flower when I get there. <laughs> so stick around. Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I had been working on this and forgot to turn on the camera. There's the purple flowers, and I put in some white daisies, and a couple of orange daylily types. They're not really lily types, but that's what I'm calling them. I'm currently doing the stems and leaves, which I'm not being real successful at. But, yeah, they look about like what the others do. Just kind of blotchy. Except, that, well, the tulip didn't. Like I said, this, this is a completely different medium than paper. That's for sure. It's more, well, I'm outlining, I guess, this way, but it's more to, more I've been dabbing the colors on with a lot, at least with the petals. <clears throat> what am I? Oh, green. <laughs> I'm using green. I thought I had that recording the whole time. I didn't realize it was on standby. So I'm sorry you didn't get to see the whole process, but that's okay I might have bored you to tears with it anyway okay well crazy McDaisy ah, I didn't load the brush enough Well, but this is the surprise right here. That's the only tulip on there. And it's on there so that when the grandkids are here, I can have them try to find the one odd flower. That's why. I might take a Sharpie and put a little detail into that because there's a couple of these points were supposed to be back end points but right now they kind of blend in so now I just want to do some brown and some green along the bottom like I did on the other side to give them some soil some soil and ga gra gas. Grass! Okay. Kind of like what happened here.
that ended up with me catching some of this green, which turned out to be a good idea because I may have to add a little grit. No, there it goes. Because the brown is almost the same color as the pot. So it was good for that to happen. I'm calling it what what did um, Bob Ross used to say? A happy accident. Now it depends on whether you like it or not, but I think it's okay. I have to add a little green in here. I'm gonna wait till the brown's in. was a little bit further around the pot than I knew I had I didn't have quite half of it done I'm not going to let that dry because I want the green to kind of muddle through it oh <laughs> let's muddle it a little more than that little too much okay yeah it's got a little too much but we're gonna do this drag it on around We have a painted pot and it's not a realistic painted pot it's a fun painted pot and there it is all the way around with one odd red tulip <laughs> okay Someday I might get a project I get finished in one sitting. I might have to just not film the whole deal, just parts of it. Anyway. I know someone out there, and I know there's probably there's more, who is, oh goodness, a backyard farmer and a crafter. So Popal Backyard Farms, you better be watching this, or at least somebody should find you, <laughs> maybe me, and say, Challenge on my channel. You can either paint a pot, because she has a lot of pots. Most of them have plants in them already, but that's okay. She can either, she can decorate it however she wants, or they, I don't know who does what when it comes to, they both do crafting, and but paint it, or you can make a sleeve because I know you crochet and you said you've used plarn which is plastic bags ripped into strips and then used as yarn or you can just however you want to decorate it but I want to see you decorate a pot <laughs> this one's gonna to have to dry before I can ever put anything inside of it
but I'm thinking it's cute. And there's our red too. Love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, my fingers are clean now. I washed them off for change while I was working instead of waiting until it got all dry, except right here. I got one spot. So we will see you tomorrow. As I said, I love you. And spread that love around because we all need it. I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter. Be sure to smile and wave at somebody. You can do that at a distance. And it's the smile is friends and the wave is acknowledgement. So, have a great day. Mwah!